Hello my friends Bayani here in this video I'm just gonna show you guys how to withdraw 220 volt from uh, 210 plugs and I'm gonna have 110 and 220 so all I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this guy here all this stuff this two plugs here they just come from over the hood microwave I'm not spending any money to do this job let's work so first I'm gonna connect this two guy to this box to this plug and there we go let's get it done first I'm just gonna open this two guys about this much in there let me put this one aside for now and the reason that i am doing it is just because here i don't have power here on this old shop never had the previous ones never had power on it so i just gonna make something just temporary thing until i have everything figured it out yeah like you see this is just a regular microwave plug that we just connect straight we just cut the tab on it and this you can see is just uh, the wire is a little bit thicker than a regular gauge wire Then I'm gonna cut this other one, the same, about the same size right there. So guys, I have my two wires red. Just gonna get one of this guy. I'm gonna put it right there. I am not spending like money on this stuff. All I have in here is stuff that I had just left over in here. Money, so I'm just gonna pass this two wires right in there. You guys can see, I have my wires all in there, nice and tight. And then I'm just gonna tighten this guy up. This thing doesn't take very long. Sometimes we just do this on the construction when we need the heaters, but this case is different. Like you guys can see here, the place things all over the place, and I uh, just need some power because I need to put some work in to organize this place. And usually I do those things after work so take time okay I'm gonna grab this other uh, the two neutral in this case I'm just gonna keep the neutral together don't need the neutral and then you can see on this plug neutral hot and hot I'm just gonna connect the neutral there for now everything is nice and tight and then uh, I have the ground I'm just gonna wrap this ground together or either way I could just put it in here but I just gonna do another piece of ground in there and like you guys can see the ground just go right there on the box right and I'll wrap it up in there you guys can see I have the ground all connected nice and tight then I'm gonna put another piece of ground that I have in here and connect to the plug and then this is their hot leg both of them gonna be a hot leg from two different plugs I'm just gonna connect one on each side doesn't really matter which side of the plug you go in let's see if this is gonna be tight in in, in able to tighten them might be a little bit loose in there if that is the case i just show you guys you can cut a little piece of this guy and put in there if it is uh, not tight enough let's see if we can the screw gonna be able to tighten this up because this is designed for a little bit thicker wire but in my case here is just a temporary power it's very tight in there should be good and the other hot side wire just go there what i'm doing i just bend this a little bit more that way it make more volume and tight better and then I just put it in, tight this guy up. Okay, like you guys can see, this is a hot, hot. This is the neutral, and the ground is in there. I just missing a screw in here from this ground. So let me see how I gonna operate this guy. Yes, my friends. So I have the ground. I just have to adapt a few little thing here. That way is good. Like you know the everything I had in here. And uh, let's close this guy up and let's check how it works. So the box is a little bit sideways, but it's just I just not, don't want to spend the money and not gonna run and buy a new box. This one is uh, what gonna be just for the time being. And beside, just gonna be few people that gonna have access to this guy. Gonna tighten this up and rock and roll. Like you guys can see here, no power in this place. I have some wires running there to this panel. Is where I want this power to come for now. And then this is going to the house. Let's go up there, find some plugs and plug this guy in and get them to work. There you go guys, we have those two plugs in there, the one that I gonna use. So let's see, we are just gonna plug them in. I hope they work good because they come from two different panels. The lock is there on a different legs. One side is connected, the other side is connected in there. Like I mentioned to you guys, this is just a temporary power. Let's see what we have in here. A little bit hard to show with one hand. Let's try to figure this thing out that way you guys can see it. A little bit on the hard side to do with one hand. Yeah guys, so let's plug this guy in. Like we go down and check to see if we have power in there. This is my temporary power. Yeah guys, oh, so here we go. My plug is there, working good. And 
Just go up. Why are going here for now? Go inside the pipe in there and go to the shop right. Nice and easy. And let's walk there to the shop. So we have 227 there. So it is working good. And for this I have 110. I have everything working good guys. That is the way to go. You guys just gotta be careful when you play with the stuff. For now I on a rainy day I can come in here and fill in the day. Put some lights up. Temporary lights. Some plugs to run the saw. And we go from there. Let me turn this thing off. Before somebody get hurt. There are no power is off. And... I'm gonna put the cover on. Yeah, my friends, like you can see here, all that I used was a couple wire from over the hood microwave, one old plug for the stove, the old wire from the stove, and job is done. I got my 220, I had my 110 right to the shop, and I just gonna make my life a way easier than to have to run the cable from here to there because it's far away. I love you guys. See you soon.